time here on WOTM. Mark, we start this final segment with some news out of the high school football world that could kind of rock the world as we know it right now. This right here is the number one player of the class of 2022 and rising senior. His name is Quinn Ewers, the number one quarterback. He plays high school football at the very famous South Lake Carroll over in Texas. He's already committed to Ohio State. Now word is out that he is leaning towards skipping a senior season of high school and enrolling at Ohio State. And in order to do that, I mean, he can do that as far as technically goes, but that would allow him to capitalize on the new name, image, and likeness situation and be able to make money. So he played football his junior season. That's the highlight you're seeing here, courtesy of Under the Radar. And he's now getting, have a, has a chance to enroll at the university or at, at Ohio State University and essentially make money off of his name. And you have to think that you already heard guys like Nick Saban last week saying their quarterback who hasn't started a game yet. Yep. North getting close to a million dollars in money that he's made so far. What do you think about this? And could this possibly change high school football for a long time? Did you see the name of the company that's trying to uh, reward him with the, with the contract? Holy, no. Holy Kambuka. Right. The name of the wow. <laughs> that, yeah. It's just a shame that they uh -huh. won't be able to with that kind of name. Right. Uh, but look, I, I, I think that this is going to change high school football as well. I think everyone saw that coming. You have a guy that was smart enough to graduate uh, before he plays his senior year. So n normally he would be a senior uh, this year playing his senior year of, of high school football, which should be a special time mm -hmm. in somebody's life. But now he's thinking about going up to Ohio State, and he could be able to be eligible for Ohio State this year as right. well. He could play freshman ball at Ohio State because he has the credits to graduate and be eligible. That, to me, is amazing to have that choice to play Co uh, high school football as a senior or college football as a freshman and be able to do both at the same, you know, uh, in, in just the blink of an eye, to me is amazing. It's a problem that high schools are going to have to face. You're going to see more of these guys potentially forfeiting their senior year because maybe they don't want to get hurt or it'll be like the next thing that prep basketball was going to be. Some guys will probably be homeschooled. I don't want to play my senior year because I got a big contract coming from this company uh, when, I, when I'm eligible to play college football, and I don't want to risk it. I could easily see that happening all over. Exactly. So, Ears has a shot there. And once again, he hasn't made anything official. He just told uh, uh, one of the publications, or the, uh, one of the publications being 24-7 uh, uh, Sports, Rivals, and Yahoo Sports, Yahoo.com, coming out with the fact that he's leaning towards skipping his final year of high school and then going on and kind of pop, pop, uh, capitalizing on his popularity uh, so far. And I'm with you. I think that this could this could kind of be the start of a sea change. We're mm -hmm. seeing the sea change in college. Yeah. But we're seeing that already. And this could be kind of the, the domino that leads to that where we see a sea change in high school as well. We will close out staying in the high school level with a shout out to our friends over at Montgomery at the AHSAA. They announced today the revenue share plan. They were approved to uh, return $2.1 million back to its member schools. That is in addition to the $1.7 million distributed last May after the 2019-2020 season was put on hold because of the coronavirus and we didn't have spring sports largely last year. It's a record $3.8 million for its member schools when distribution is completed this fall. you got to remember, they're doing all this with the leadership during after that COVID hold, which is phenomenal. So a really good shout-out, special shout-out to the HSAA and the leadership there for being able to allow all of the schools and all of the sports compete this past year. Also, it waived all the membership dues for the 30th straight year, saving schools about $90,000. Also, the revenue share plan overall has returned about $19.2 million. So the HSA is able to cover their budget, has some excess, and then they're able to give it back to member schools. It's really positive. Well, speaking about uh, high school football, tomorrow is media day over at Talladega. Dude, yeah. you, you got to go. I don't want to go by myself and have <laughs> nobody to talk to. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see about that. And, uh, yes, Talladega County Media Day is tomorrow. We'll also have Etowah County, or Calvin County Media Day coming up on Friday. And Etowah County Media Day was yesterday getting closer and closer to the start of fall camp practices and the start of the season in high school football coming up on August 19th is when the official date starts for the Week Zero games in high school football in Alabama. But once again, special shout-out to the HSAA, outgoing Executive Director Steve Savarese, and incoming Executive Director Alvin Britz. That wraps up our show here on a Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us. We're back here on Monday. I have Mark back in the house as well. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next week.